All right, YouTube, what's good? <clears throat> it's your boy LS Kid back again with another video. So this is a video today, man, of my 442 colors. I know I hadn't posted no video of this one yet. I've been doing posting videos of the LS Swap one, the 84 one. But this one is a 442. It's an 86. Uh, as you can see, man, it, it needs cleaning. I hadn't. I actually, I just crunked this car up and actually moved it for the first time in like two years. Cause when I bought the 84 one two years ago, I started working on it. Uh, and I just put this one up in the garage and this is my shop and it really ain't that big. It's just barely big enough to hold the car in there. So I said, I decided to pull it out and I said I was gonna make a video of it. Is that why I decided to pull it out? Let me. It's pretty dirty. It's been, like I said, it's been sitting in there for two years. It needs to be washed. Everything. And actually, let me show you the motor. This is an Oldsmobile 403 right here. I actually, uh, man, I paid $250 for this motor and transmission. Uh, all I had to do on it, I, uh, when I got it, they had uh, somebody previously, the boat hole right on this side right here, they had scripted it out. That was going down into the uh, the intake. They scripted that out. And so I, all I did was uh, I replaced the intake, bought a brand new carburetor, uh, changed the descriptor on there, you know, spark plug, spark plug wire, you know, the normal. Did that, dropped it in here, fired right up. Uh, I still got a few little things. I got to get it tuned just right for it to be running good. Uh, I know I do have a uh, manifold leak, so I got to figure out. I don't know exactly which one it is that's leaking. So I got to figure out which one that is that's leaking and get it fixed. Uh, let's see what else. I got to put my reservoir uh, jug back in here. Uh... I got to get me a uh, brake fluid, a uh, master cylinder cap right here. As you can see, I've been wasting brake fluid everywhere. Because I bought it, at, bought it at my shop and drove it around the block for a few seconds. Uh, and before I had parked this car, I had took the dash out because the dash is just completely trash. It's, I mean, it's cracked all up. It's, it's no good. And so I had took the dash out because I actually have a dash that's going. I'm putting back in here that has no cracks on it at all. This, I mean, this is in great condition. Uh, I got I got the original console, center console that came with it. I took it out because it was kind of cracked all up real bad, and and I just so happened to come across this little console right here, and it has cup holders in it, which is what I like. I want to better have cup holders and stuff, and then lots of storage space. And so I said I was going to try to get me uh, something to get somebody to build me a console to cover this back up. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it needs to be cleaned out pretty bad. I mean, like I, said, I mean, literally, like, as soon as I took the dash out this car, I think, like, a week or two later, I bought that, that, uh, that gray one. And I said I was just going to park it. I wasn't even going to fool with it anymore. Back seats. Mm, they're okay. I mean, they need a good cleaning. They could be reupholstered. Got a few little, like, cigarette burns in there or something that somebody put in there. It's not the original carpet, of course. The carpet needs to be replaced. I don't, I guess the previous owner guy bought it from, I think he was the one that took it out. And I don't know, for whatever reason, he put, like, this old cheap speaker box carpet that's like kind of what it is so the stuff that you put on speaker boxes he put that in here just going cheap uh i do got new door panels for it and stuff that i uh, want to put back in here i mean i got so many parts for this car that i was like i said i was going to put this car back together i got new tail lights reverse lights which as you see this one's been busted out And I even got all the weather scripts to come around the door and the windows and stuff. I got all that I was supposed to put back on here. Uh, 
I want to see if I can maybe find the chrome pieces that go around the seat. They were already broke off when I got the car. But yeah, I mean, as you see, I, whew, I still got, I didn't realize how much left I had to do to this car. As you see, this door open and close is pretty good. Oh yeah, those rims right there. They, uh, these are the rims that, actually, that, that came on the 84 uh, Cutlass. And like I said, I took took them off and put them on this one because I wanted those 442 rims on the other Cutlass. I don't too much, I'm really not a fan of these. I don't too much like them. They look all right, but just really not my style. But uh, yeah, I got, I got quite a bit to do. I got to try to clean up all this wiring up under here just man you know how people do when they swap motors out they just go to cutting things and this is how the wiring was when i got the car i just haven't decided to come in and try to fix anything but i don't know i i and i've i've kind of been stuck between i don't know if i really want to try to go and finish restoring this car or do i want to try to go and use it for a parts car or something i mean i really don't know I mean, it has a, you know, if you, the body itself isn't that bad. Uh, let me show you. As course is always noted, right there on the door where they rust that pretty bad. Uh, the rear quarter panels are in pretty good shape. I mean, I don't see any rust showing through, which I, I mean, it looks like they've done some body work right here before. And it looks like it because this car has been repainted before it's not I don't think this is the original color I highly doubt it I mean then of course as always the rust on the trunk but and then a little rust on the bumper right there but the biggest thing with the body which I'm not gonna I, I could bend down and see if I get a good shot of it but right here this floor pan Let me turn my flash on, guys. I don't know why the flash don't want to come on. But right here, that floor pan has been rusted out. It's kind of hard to see. But it, it rusted out and... I don't know the previous owner or whoever did it, but somebody somebody had already went through. It's, they painted it, but they painted it black to try to match the floor. But this right here has been cut out. This whole little section down here, I guess it was rusted out. And what they did was they cut it out, took a piece of uh, metal, kind of bent it to the shape, and then they just took some self-tappers and screwed it in. They didn't get it welded in. And then even on the bottom side, you still see the head of the, I mean, the the uh, end of the self-tapper uh, on it. They didn't even take the time to even try to grind those down or anything. So I'm going to have to pour the seats out order me the uh the back panel the back four plan right here that goes right here and get it welded in and stuff because to me that just looks so tacky even though nobody really will ever know unless i told them or unless you looked under the car but i mean those are pretty much the thing you know the major things that i have left to do with this car i mean let me see if it'll crank up i know the battery was pretty Dead. What did I do with the keys? Let me see if the batter has enough juice in it. Nah, the battery doesn't have enough juice in it. I'm going to charge it overnight and I'll make a video of the car running tomorrow because i'm gonna be out here i'm gonna uh 
probably going to get back out here put the dash back in clean these wires up put the new dash in and stuff because i like i said i don't know if i'm gonna use it for a parts car restore it or even just put it back together minor and then sell it i mean i've been thinking about doing me an ls swap on a uh, short wheel base or a uh like an 80 model box chevy i don't know yet but yeah, that's pretty much it youtube you know comment subscribe you know Tell me what y'all think. Y'all think I should keep it, trade it, or sell it?